What's good YouTube? In this video I'm going to show you a little underneath passing concept that is really good for short yardage, really good against the blitz, and will beat man coverage, zone coverage, match coverage, pretty much anything that the defense does. This is a great little concept for you. Now if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day here on the YouTube channel. Also, guys, for those of you that don't know, uh, my name is Cody, and like I said, our channel is focusing on helping people get better at the game. We're trying to get better every single day and share that knowledge with you guys. So if you want to really take your game to the next level, I would encourage you to join our Patreon. That's where I post all my eBooks, all my exclusive tips that I don't share publicly here on YouTube. If you want to get all that content, we've got 20 offensive and defensive eBooks. Alongside of that, we update those eBooks pretty much every week with new material and the Patreon membership. If you want to get access to all of that stuff, it's only $10 a month. There's a link in the description if you want to check it out. Now, guys, today I'm going to be talking about a passing concept out of the Gun Trips tight end formation. And the play we're going to be taking a look at is X Spot. Now, X Spot is becoming one of my favorite passing plays, especially in key situations. And in this video, we're going to be showing you how you can use it to absolutely torch underneath coverages that people are going to try to employ in short yardage situations. All right, guys, let's jump into the video. So we're going to go ahead and move the ball. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and put the ball um, on the right hash. You can put it on the other side if you want, but I prefer it to be to the wide side for this in particular setup because it's going to give us a better spacing over on the left side. So, guys, the setup is really, really simple. Um, if you don't have Hot Route Master, that's fine. You don't need that for this setup. Um, but I would recommend Backfield Master. Now, let's say you're playing Mutt and you don't have the ability to be able to do that. That's fine as well. If you can't do that in mutt, um, or if you can't do that in regs, then you're just going to use the running back on a uh, on the little out route instead of the ghost route, which is what I'm going to recommend. And the reason I like ghost routes is because it's going to do a really good job of funneling everything, funneling all the zones and holding the zones inside and giving us a lane at which we can hit a slant. So um, very simple setup here. Now in short yardage, most of the time, your opponent is going to send pressure uh, at you. And so you have one of two methods. I'm going to give you two setups in this video. The first one is a five out setup that I really like. And what we're going to do is we're going to flat Scotty Miller. We're going to slant the inside slot, Chris Godwin. We're going to ghost route the running back and we're going to post the tight end. Now, if you don't have hot route master, then I would just recommend putting him on a smart routed in route. You see, it's about, it's basically, it's very similar. Okay. In terms of the concept. And our first read on this play is really going to be to this uh, deep post of the tight end. If that's open, um, what that's going to mean is in a situation where they're going to basically be forced to make a decision. Now, um, if they if they decide that they're going to use the tight end post, which I'm going to kind of simulate here with a safety. So I'm going to put a safety on this tight end post. Then our next progression is going to go to our slant if our backside little snag concept is bad. So you'll see here, shaded coverage down yellows do a good job of that. But this is the route that is really, really difficult to guard. It's the route that is probably the hardest to stop in this game. And I love this setup for situations when they're usering. Um, a lot of people that run cover four against trips, they like the user this defender. So let's say that they go with that slant. Um, if I can give you a good example here. So let's say they go to the slant and they shade their coverage down because they're trying to get that, that, that quick stop. You know what I'm saying? Um, then you're going to be in a situation where you have a nice natural little high-low between your tight end and your little spot route. So you see they go, and then you're going to see that is now wide open and will keep the chains moving for your offense. Now let's say you're in a situation where they send a heavy pressure at you out of a cover three shell, which is very popular. So they might do something... Um, they might do something like this if I can get my uh, my, uh, my setup in here. Let's see. So Mike Blitz 3. And we're just going to shade our coverage down. And they're going to be using in the middle of the field. Okay? So typically, if they're going to be in this situation, they're almost always going to go with the slant. Because they know that the slant is going to get open. If they don't go with the slant, you can hit the slant. But what's really cool about this is how quick this little snag route happens. You're going to be able to throw this really, really fast. So you look, they go with the slant, and then you throw right there, and you see that you're able to carve up this Mike Blitz 3 um, in a very simple way. Now, another thing that I want to quickly point out about this is a cover 3 defense. So let's say they're in a cover 3 defense. Something we know about cover 3 is that it does not 
Um, it does not do well with this little flat snag concept. You see how he sucks inside. If they're playing curl flats uh, on you, it's a curl. It's a great route for curl flats. Curl flats will completely glitch out with this on both sides of the field, but especially on the left side. So you'll see right here that you can just hit this flat all day long. If they're gonna play curl flats on you, like it's GG's in the chat, you're gonna be able to kill them underneath with the curl flats, which brings me to my next point. Let's say that they're you know, playing a double Mabel coverage on you, something like this. Um, and to simulate that, I'm gonna put this guy in a third just because it's gonna get him backed off of, the, off of the play. So let's say they're playing a double Mabel setup out of a cover two shell. What you're gonna notice is that this is really, really wide open. So again, uh, just a simple slant, and you'll see that this little spot route will pull the zones inside. You pass lead up that flat, and as you can see, it gets wide open against this defense. So they can't really run max coverage against you with this. Um, the best coverage, honestly, with this, especially this five out setup, the best coverage they can run is, a, is just a traditional man coverage. The problem with man coverage is this slant is so open and it's really, really good against this man. And the reason why is because the way that they're gonna try to stop that slant route um, if they're if they're in a man defense, the way that they're going to try to stop the slant is they're going to do something like this where they have their curl flat zones. But again, this is problematic because of the fact that we have a running back on a ghost route. So if they try to use the tight end post, you're going to be primarily locked in on the slant. And what you should see here is it should come open either early or late. There it came open a little bit earlier. So let me show that one more time. So again, if I'm if I'm in man, and they're going to go um, just try to simulate them going to the tight end post like this. So they're going to go to the tight end post for sure, right? Now what you're going to see here is this is where it could be better to the, to the short side because you'll, your curl flat will glitch a little bit better. But notice here that you can, you can't, you can't really throw it against a curl flat, but any other zone you can. Now, if you want to glitch out a curl flat, um, what you basically want to do is that secondary setup that I was telling you, um, with the running back where we basically say to the running back, now you're gonna be what's, you know, essentially we're gonna use our running back like a pull route for this curl flat. So if they're running a lot of curl flats on the right, what I like to do is wheel the running back or just leave him on a swing. Um, you could just leave him on the route that he's on if you want to. And what you'll see is if it's a curl flat, watch how far it goes. See how it's outside? And I can throw that ball inside that little pocket right there. Um, because again, they by now have to have gone and bailed uh, to the tight end post route and let's say that you want to run this um, against a you know a heavy man blitz and they're gonna they're gonna get down in your grill and they're, you know they're gonna make life a little bit more difficult for you because they're gonna be bailing right into coverage um, and they're probably honestly gonna take away the slant more than likely what I like to do against man and this is where um, you know again tendencies you might not want to run this exact setup against man, you might want to run a slant on the left um, or something like that. But what you can do with this is obviously you can also run a running back out route, which will beat man. But the other thing you have to understand is you can low ball this little hitch, just low ball it right there. And you see that it's fairly consistent. It's not going to be great, um, but it is going to be a quick answer if they are, if they are blitzing you. Now let's give you one other scenario. Let's say that they blitz you out of a cover two uh, shell and they're gonna play hard flats and they're gonna play yellows uh, over there. In that situation, there's no yellow zone that's gonna be able to be played on the right side of the screen, right? So they're really kind of kind of highlighting, they're focusing on this underneath concept here, which is probably the best coverage that you're gonna be able to get to. But the problem is they're gonna to have to use either the slant or the post, whichever one they choose, um, you're gonna throw the other one. So if they choose the tight end, post then you're going to throw the slant if they choose the slant then you're going to throw the post and this is a little bit of a bang bang play and like i said this is probably the best coverage for um for this concept from a blitzing perspective right from a blitzing from a blitzing perspective this is probably the best coverage uh for this for this for this deal so again let me show you the setup here and what you'll see is you know now we're in a situation where this running back is gonna it's gonna make a decision real quick and then you've got to be ready to hit that route right there if they come underneath and they try to go get that tight end post now an easier solution to this and an easier solution to the blitz in general um, is really one of my favorite things to do here which is another which is our secondary setup so our second setup with this um, is really really good because they can't blitz you so what we're gonna do is we're going to block our tight end 
we're going to in route our running back we're going to flat scotty miller and then i still like to slant chris goblin and what you'll see now is you have all the time in the world to be able to make your read and take your slant so they're basically going to be in a position now where they again have to use her the flat and if they're playing defense the way most people um the way most people tend to play defense in this year's game especially against trips this little spot route is going to be wide open because they're going to go with the slant and you're going to have that little two-man snag concept on the backside. so this play is great for beating the blitz i hope you enjoyed the video I want to thank you for watching the breakdown. I want to remind you real quickly to join our Discord. It's the best way to stay up to date with everything that's going on when my streams are, when we release new guys, when we uh, when we post new videos, all that stuff. You want to stay up to date with everything. The Discord is free to join. It's also a great way to get your questions answered. So if you want to join that, um, there's a link in the description below. And I'm pretty excited. Every single week, I'm going to be releasing some exclusive content just to our Discord members. So if you want to get access to that exclusive content, make sure you join the Discord down below. It's completely free to sign up for it. And again, it just helps you be able to stay up to date with the content and also allows you to get some exclusive tips and tricks that we're not going to release publicly here on the YouTube channel. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to sign up for the Discord, there's a link in the description below. And last but not least, if you want to get all my eBooks and get everything, access to all my stuff, all my updates, all 20 offensive and defensive eBooks, please join our Patreon. There's a link in the description for that. It's only ten dollars a month, and as long as your membership's active, you literally get everything: all the updates, all the new, all the new stuff, and all the stuff we've already put together for you. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you guys next time.